Present. Thank you, Madam Chair. Here, Supervisor Miller. Present. Here, let the record show all members are present, and Senator Gessner Carroll will point to the Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm here because of the election. And uh, first off, I want to say I think you bought some really great equipment. What disturbs me, although, is that we spent eight hundred thousand dollars on this equipment, and the the system you run the ballot through the system, it turns around and puts a number on the ballot, and then it makes a digital image. The digital image is what the computer system counts. To protect those images. Uh, Richard Hernandez and others and myself filed a lawsuit and to protect those images from being destroyed. It's a good system and not to use it properly is very inappropriate. I have filed a records request. I have not got any of the records yet. You know, I'd like to reward this board, remind this board that last November, you know, in the bond election that, you know, I caught the uh, the election department breaking and entering into the computer system before, uh, after the logic and accuracy test, and it caused the whole thing to be, have to read the logic and be done again and set up. This has gone on long enough. It really is. We have a great system. I beg of you to go ahead and with this canvas that you're doing today is to give what Judge Miller ordered is the database to the parties and in that database, the ballot images must be part of it because that's how the system works. It's a far superior system than the system that we had before. If those ballot images are not forthcoming in the database, we will file another order with the judge, take it back into court, but I don't want to do that. Because you know what's really important about this whole thing, as I said eight years ago in this room with a so-called the yuppie riot for those who are here, is that this really is just not about Pima County, it's about our country. Our country is in a crisis when it comes to elections. If you read the front lines and study elections like I do, is that uh, uh, this election could be horrifyingly bad and uh, when people are not calling it voter fraud anymore, they're calling it election fraud. And Pima County has the chance to lead this country by saying, here's the ballot images, uh, you know, if you follow Dr. Tom Ryan's recommendations, you would be able to go ahead and produce a verified election. Wow, wouldn't that be great? Elections that are transparent and verifiable, that a guy like me can say, okay, I got the images, I'm gonna randomly pull some precincts, I'm gonna check them, oh, it adds up really good, okay, they're numbered, hey, can we just match up five or six ballots? And then we'll prove that they are the originals. That would be a revolution. 40% of this country is voting on systems that have ballot images, and we can read them on our computers and put the numbers together and then verify and end the fuss. Elections, like I said, are no good unless they're transparent and verifiable. My time is up. I want to thank you all. Please take very good consideration. Don't force me to make you spend more money on litigation. You know, our history going back over 10 years, I would estimate because of building a new election center that close to maybe $10 million has been sent in litigation or building new facilities, which I call at this point election theater. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, we're now moving on to elections. I'm called as Canvas pursuant to ARS 16-645B, Canvas of the Election Results for the August 30th, 2016 primary election. I'll move that item. Second. Madam Chair. Supervisor. I'd also uh, mention that there are a number of questions brought up this morning uh, during calls of the audience surrounding this election. And, and um, Mr. Nelson, if you have any comments that you'd like to make about that, that that's fine. However, uh, I would also ask that our Elections Integrity Committee take a look at any of uh, those questions that were brought up this morning, particularly the number printing issue, because uh, I think that's a realistic issue. Uh, I'd like to see them handle that and uh, return to us with some kind of report regarding uh, those issues. Okay, thanks. There are no objections. So thank you, so directed Is motion on the floor to approve? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. Moving on to item 13.